Phenomena. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> again, she's starting that in my head again. Stoichiometry. Isn't it awesome? You remember this from last class? Yeah, yeah, we got a balanced equation. And well, we're trying to predict amounts. Guys, we're going to be doing more difficult problems now. A little bit trickier. These are the ones that require, well, it's going to require you to write smaller, I think, so we can get it all on the screen. So it's important that we're now not going to just say from moles to moles, but we're going to do a different problem. So let's say that we've got 16.2 grams of hydrogen. It's kind of a weird number, right? And I want to know how many grams of water would be produced. Now, let me give you a, a hint. When I'm doing these problems, I think it's important to label what you know and what you don't know and put it in the equation. So when I have a problem like this, it's going to be written out in words, and we've simplified it a little bit here. I will write this, 16.2 grams underneath the hydrogen, and I'll put question mark grams underneath the water. And that frames the question and tells me what I have, my given, if you will, 16.2 grams, and what I'm trying to find, the water. So we have this table that uh, you're yep. looking at right now. and So now, yeah, on the mole map or the land of the mole, if you're looking at the land of the mole, we're trying to go from grams to grams. And what you'll notice is there's different fractions along the way. So always start with what you know as a fraction over one. So you can see Mr. Dimitrovich, 16.2 grams. Notice he wrote H2 over one. Now, if you go back to the land of mole, to get there, we have to go from, now it's just big picture, we have to go from grams of A, if you will, to moles of A moles of A to moles of B, and then moles of B to grams of B. If you see this, we're going to have a bunch of different fractions. Let me jump in here just for a second, because if you take a look at this prior to this, didn't we say the equation written in moles? Yes. So we did a bunch of this, like if I know the moles of H2, because there's two moles of this for one mole of this, we can do that really easily. If you're given grams, this equation isn't in grams, so we have to convert it to moles. Yeah, because it's, you can't say this is 16.2 and this is 16.2 because it's 2 and 2 because their grams are not the same. So we have to convert to grams. We've done this before, so we look up on our periodic table and we find that hydrogen has a mass of 1, so it's 2 grams for every 1 mole. Now why did I put this uh, grams on the bottom? Because you need the grams to cancel, and you were actually super accurate with 2.016. That's fine. It, Two, roughly two grams for every one mole, all right? And what can cancel now? Grams cancel. Now let's go back to the land of the mole, and you notice where, where we're at now, and we need to get from now from moles to moles, so we have a new fraction that we need to make. And to get from moles to moles, we need to get the moles down here. So notice that the moles are on the top, moles of H2, so he, Mr. Demetrius can write moles of H2, in fact, two moles of H2. Now, where do you get that two from? Now, I, like, I know that you like putting it in there without putting the number okay, in first, though. but the, the number is from the recipe. We know that there's two moles of H2 for every two moles of H2. So this well, is the step where we use the recipe, right? Right. It's the two, in this case, two to two. Two moles of hydrogen and two moles of water. Now, I see something can cancel out. What can cancel out? We're going to canceling friends in here our moles of H2. And we've got one more step because now we want to get to grams of water. Now, again, looking back at our mole map, or the land of the mole, you see now we're going to go from moles of B to grams of B, and now we have to use the molar mass again. And the molar mass, of course, we find that from the periodic table. And one mole of water, and water is H, there's mass of two, 16 for oxygen. Now, one thing you might have forgotten is if you've got a big set of fractions right here, here's the rule. Everything on top, you times. Everything on the bottom, you divide. Now, notice I've got two different numbers. You can ignore the ones because they're divided by one same thing. So listen how I type. I'm going to say 16.2 divided by, I'm going to be, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Divided by 2, I'm not going to type 2.016. Times 2 divided by 2 times 2 divided by 2 times 18. And I get 145.8 grams of water. Now, I cheated a little bit and did, didn't do the exact number, two points. That's not that difficult, but you have to follow the land of the mole. And you can stop anywhere along the way, right? So let's say I hadn't asked you to go from yeah. grams of this to grams of this. Let's say we changed this and we oh, wanted to go to, to just moles. Let's just go to moles, right? Yeah, you would just skip this last step, right? Because if you're in the land of the mole, again, let's follow the pattern. You'd go from grams of A to moles of A, or to moles of A, moles of A to moles of B, done. All right, we have another example. It's a little bit different. We have uh, a different reaction. This is potassium chlorate, and it's a really cool chemical, by the way, because it, when you heat it up, it turns into oxygen gas, which is super crazy flammable. It's just a fun chemical. Yeah. But first of all, first thing we always do is we start with a what? Balance. Balance chemical equation. One K here, one K here. Happy. One, one CL here, one CL Happy. Here. Oh, no. 
three oxygens here. Not happy. Two oxygens here. So now, if you have two and three. Six. Yeah, so why don't we multiply this by, oops, by two and this by three. Yep. Now, when you do that, though, doesn't it change the other variables yeah, in here as well? Yeah, the KCL is going to have to be. Uh, two Ks here, we only have one K here. If we put a two, wouldn't that balance out? Yeah, for that? Awesome. Before we go any farther here, it matters when we're dealing with gases that we know which things are gases, which aren't. So we're gonna put this in here. This is a solid. Yeah. This is a solid. solid, and this is a yeah. gas. And that's gonna become important in this particular problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a problem that has mixed units. So let's say that I've got 10.2 uh, grams of potassium chloride. And I wanna find the number of liters of oxygen gas that are formed, all right? So gases are strange. There's something that's really cool about gases, that if you have one mole of gas, it always takes up the exact same amount, 22.4 liters. By the way, that assumes that you're at room temperature, 25 Celsius, and you are at sea level. We'll learn later on what you deal with when you're at a different temperature or a higher uh, altitude or lower altitude or whatever. The code word is SDP, what he just said, but again, don't worry about that. And the fancy thing is, is that it's 22.4 liters in a mole, and this is like a fraction where you can flip it upside down. You'll see it's in the land of the mole, right? You see that. So I'm gonna start with what I know is a fraction over one, or Mr. D is 10.2 grams of KClO3 mm -hmm. over one. Now, following what he did before, we're gonna write this 10.2 yes. grams. Yeah, I don't know if you just so we know this is our starting point. Where's our final point? Where do you I want go? this and question mark, but I'm gonna write a big L next to it because the big L indicates that I want so many liters of it. And to follow this along here, just to keep track of it, I always like to put a little arrow to tell me uh, where I'm going yeah, between the two. That makes sense, perfect. So first step, land of the mole, I need to go from grams to moles. Now this is a little trickier when I have to find the molar mass of KClO3. So I'm gonna do that real fast. And I'm gonna round to the nearest whole number. Chlor our, uh, potassium is 39 plus 35.5 for chlorine plus 16 times three. I wanna say it's 122.5. So th that's the molar mass. Remember, we've done that before. Molar mass, 122.5, just added up KClO3. That's grams of KClO3 to one mole of KClO3. Now, in the land of the mole, where are we at? We're at the moles. Now we're gonna go from moles to moles. So why don't you write out the moles to moles without the numbers. So the gram, or the moles of KCl3 is at the top, and we're gonna put moles of KCl3 on the bottom, and I wanna convert to moles of oxygen. Well, now, we forgot one thing here. Yeah, you forgot the one, yeah. Well, we also, that is true, but we also forgot to cancel the gram. Oh, yeah. And now, where do I get these numbers? This is from the recipe, if you will, the chemical reaction. So it's a two and a three, or a three and a two, which way is it? Two on the bottom and a three on the top. Because the three, this is this three, and this two is that two. But I don't want to know the moles. If I stop right now, I have moles of oxygen, but I want to convert to? Liters. Liters. Now we have this new fraction. Again, look at the land of the mole, and this is where we use the 22.4 liters of any gas. And we are working with a gas, oxygen gas. So what we say, we just say one mole of oxygen gas on the bottom is equal to the big number that always is the same and never changes, 22.4 liters. And we can cancel, and on my calculator, this is what I'm gonna type in, 10.2 divided by 122.5 times three divided by two times 22.4. I get a grand total of 2.79, and that will be liters of oxygen. And that's the answer. We're gonna do one more example, and then we'll let you work on your own. All right, we've got one more example. We've got a chemical reaction on the board. It's actually a fancy reaction, a famous one called the Hubbard process. They make explosions out of stuff. It's really cool. Anyways, side notes. But it's not balanced, so we gotta balance this. So we've got two, two ends. ends. We got one end, so we can put a two there and fix it, I think. But that gives me what H's? Six H's six. there. Only so I need a three there. So let's say we've got yeah, 15.7 <laughs> grams of ammonia. I'm gonna put it here just because I don't wanna write it out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I want to know is how many molecules of hydrogen gas are formed? Row, row. Molecules. This is a little different one. So it still lands a mole. We're just going to use a different fraction. So we're going to start with what we know is a fraction over one. We always do the same thing, right? We're going from there to there. It's, by the way, notice that we're going backwards. It's okay. We, this is basically, I have two 15.7 chocolate chip cookies. How many cups of flour do I need? That's really what we're doing, right? So if you have 15.7 grams of NH3 over one, 
and I need to get my calculator, my calculator, nitrogen has a mass of 14. 17.03. And hydrogen is one, so it's 17, or in exact figures, 17.03. It's actually not exact. Actually. Not, my, yeah, not my first rodeo, but yeah, it's close to this. Uh, grams cancel, right? Now we are at the next stage. The next stage is we need to go from moles to moles in our land of the moles. So it's moles to moles, so we'll write moles of NH3, because we want to get the NH3 to cancel and moles of H2 on the bottom. Now, we find, where do we find the numbers? From the balanced chemical equation, two and three. By the way, sometimes they're one and one. It just yeah. depends on the reaction, right? Yeah. And uh, what can we cancel out? Back to the land of the mole. Now notice, now we have another fraction that we can use. What That fraction is Avogadro's number. So we're just gonna use Avogadro's numbers like we've done before, the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules are in one mole, always the same. Always, always, always. So we put that in our fraction, right? But we gotta decide which goes on top, which goes on the bottom. Well, molecules and moles, since the moles are on top, I'm gonna to put moles on the bottom. Uh, also keep in mind that you should be keeping the, the, the compound you're yes, using. Yes, you have to see, keep H2. Notice how Mr. Demetrius is very good about that. This is a lot of writing. And then there's the calculator thing, all right? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you got it? Okay, hold on, we've got a little cancellation. And yep. Yeah. And what are we left unit-wise with molecules of H2? Now, how do we do this in your calculator? Now, I haven't said this before. Follow along with your calculator. I'm gonna type in 15.7. Next step is divided by 17.03 times three divided by two times 6.022. Now, careful, careful, careful. I do not say times 10. I push the double E button, 23. And I get the number 8.32 times 10 to the 23rd. And that will be molecules H2. By the way, I think it's okay to show you this. Is When I write, Mr. Medicius, you write moles, and I typically just write M-O-L for the abbreviation for moles. And for molecules, I write the abbreviations M-O-L-E-C. I don't write the whole word out. So okay. we can save you a little bit of writing. Um, if we're doing a leader problem, like the previous one, it's just capital L. I think that's pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, just a side note here, because we did learn significant figures for a reason. Uh, yeah. Whenever we're doing our final problem, you see we have three significant figures here, four here. Now, these are exact numbers, so they don't count. And then we have four here. Whenever we're multiplying and dividing, don't we take the least number of significant figures? And that's why I only gave him 8.3, because actually the calculator says 8.33. Five, four, five, five, a bunch of digits, and I, in my head, rounded that to three significant digits, knowing that we had three significant digits right here. By the way, if it had been, a, it could have rounded up possibly to 8.33 or something like that if the next digit was a little bit higher than a five. Folks, you're only getting better with this with practice. So, mana, mana. Let's practice. Do, 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 do. We'll play it in class just so you remember do, what do, it is. Do, do. Manamana. This is how old people dance, by the way. <laughs> you saw me dancing at the uh, assembly, and yeah, you know I suck at it. Not gonna do it. Hey, see you guys next time. I still feel bad about it. I still have issues that you didn't vote me in, by the way. Just FYI. Super. I should have beaten Bradaway, just saying. Well, that's, a, that's always true, though. Yes. That's always true. Chicks visit Bradaway.